I've got a pretty fun episode planned for today, and I can't wait to uh, to jump into it. I think to get started, let's go move the Hastelud. Finally, now that we've got magnesium, we can move this truck and use it to start uh, grabbing some cobalt. Let me get my HUD back on. Uh, we'll unlock the landing gear, retract the pistons, and hopefully you guys can see okay. It's really dark. I know it's really dark, and I'm sorry. Uh, let me turn on as many lights as I can. Let's turn on our ore detector so that we can find the cobalt. Today we want cobalt. And I have a plan for, uh, for a method of obtaining said cobalt. I think it's gonna be easier than the last 15 episodes of, <laughs> of, uh, building a base and drilling. Um, I have a, I have an idea that hopefully it works. All right, if I recall, the cobalt is near here somewhere. 335, I think that's it right there. These ore patches are huge. By the way, that magnesium is like three, uh, like three compressions of the drill head deep, and we're still not even, you know, we're still not even close to, um, uh, not even to the bottom of it yet. Okay, so right here, right underneath the boom arm, is where the cobalt deposit is. Let's halt our reverse momentum. Uh, should we lock it down? No. I'm gonna hit P for park. And then I've got something on my hotbar. Let's, uh, let's try this. I just wanna know if we can, uh, explode this with a rifle. Okay, so I've got all the pieces in my inventory for one warhead. I think if I shoot it with my rifle, it's going to go off. I don't actually know. Okay, can we... Oh, we could set a countdown. 10 seconds? Okay, let's set it for 15 seconds. When, when checked, the warhead can be detonated manually or by unwary handle. This does not affect automatic... Okay, let's just try this. Let's arm it. Okay, we gotta be careful. We don't want to blow up our truck. We just need to back up enough so that our, we're not in the blast radius. I don't know how large the blast radius is gonna be. Uh, some lights just came on. Whoa! Okay, I think that is the sun bugging out through the ground. Ah, oh, this thing is not good at stopping. Okay, can I even see the warhead from here? I should have put a light on it. Our truck is definitely uh, far enough away that it won't get hit. Okay, there's the thing. I can see it. I don't think you'll be able to at this distance. There it is right there. If we shoot... And we hit it. I don't know where the crosshair of this gun, how accurate it is. It does not seem very accurate. Okay, let me move slightly closer. I do have headlights, right? There we go. Okay, you can kind of see the blue spot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, how big is this crater? That's what I was looking for. Oh, it's massive. All right, cool. That's perfect. So, to get our to get down to cobalt, I think uh, we're going to do two things. The first is we've got to build a little base over that crater and we're gonna have it automatically produce and drop warheads uh, that will explode on impact with the bottom we'll use that to get down to the cobalt and then once we're down there we'll just use Pam or something uh, the the path auto miner script to actually collect the cobalt 
Oh, I can't wait. Off to a good start. I have placed one block and immediately fell into the hole. Uh, I cannot get out. <laughs> so that's kind of awful. Okay, let's grab the wasp. And turn the engines on and we'll just bring the wasp down in here to help me get out. Good job, Cap. You are a genius.
out of concrete, so we gotta grab some more. Oh, I have no uh, reverse thrust at the moment, um, or at least very minimal. So it's we're gonna have to fly kind of sideways, I think. You yeah, have no reverse thrust. Okay, so we're gonna have to fly sideways until we can get that resolved. We'll just have to fly with this weird kind of... Oh, this is awful. Why have I done this to myself? Okay, we're flying this way. Yeah, these ships are not designed for building stuff and they do not function well as ships for building. Uh. Okay, let's just cut engines. <laughs> we'll just cut the engine, set it down. Okay, I gotta do some minor repairs and grab some more concrete. While we're waiting for day, let's talk about a couple changes I made around the base between episodes. Uh, the short, the long and short of it is that I got rid of the docking arm up here for the for the wasp drone. I wasn't really a big fan of that, honestly. It, it didn't look right, and it got in the way of the moth. You just couldn't reliably dock both ships um, automatically, you know, scripts and stuff. So uh, I ended up getting rid of that. Instead, we put uh, Gatling turrets on top of this tower. I built a little addition to the tower and put four Gatling turrets there, as well as a wind turbine, just so we can have some, some additional power generation. I no longer have the decoy, which is kind of a shame. I might put a decoy on somewhere. Uh, but I'm not sure that's entirely necessary right now. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Sun's starting to come up. Let's get back to work. Oh, this is taking forever. We really need to get started on that other base <laughs> so we can build some more ships. I need a welding ship for sure uh, and a building ship before we take on any more projects. Okay, that took me like like two hours or something, but I got because I have this crappy welder is all I got. So I got all the concrete done. Uh, I'm working on the platform that we're going to print from next. We're going to need some cargo. Uh, that's for sure. Um, especially once we've got the drill finished. We'll need something to hold all the cobalt. 
I think we'll do... I'm just gonna do, like, way overkill and do, like, two large cargo containers, I think, stacked on top of each other. We're gonna take these kind of posts. Let's fix their color. We're gonna take these kind of, um... Uh beams, these beam blocks um, on either side and kind of hang them out, extend them, and then we'll put the platform on top like that, kind of cantilevered over the hole. I don't quite know if we're going to do more support than that yet. Uh, I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, that's where we got. I think next I'm going to build some stairs that kind of snake up the sides of these cargo containers, kind of like we've got over at the magnesium mine. Um, and that is how we will get to the platform on top. All right, there we go. So there's a little bit better of an idea of what I'm going for. Uh, I think this is working out pretty good. I think next it'd be cool to have like an observatory, like a little observation control room kind of thing uh, in between the camps, uh, in between the beam blocks right there. And then out in front of that, we'll put the constructor for the warheads uh, to drop into the hole and maybe a dock um, eventually once we're down to the cobalt we'll replace the warhead constructor with a dock for a mining vessel uh, that will drop in there to collect the cobalt uh, what do you think I think it turned out pretty cool uh, let's take a quick tour of this facility um, down in the hole it's just a hole so there's not really much to see there. Um, that's the same. I wanted to skip a bunch because we're pretty deep into the episode here and I still have stuff I want to accomplish by the end of the day. So I just uh, spent a bunch of time, built a bunch of stuff. All right, let's take a look at it. There's not really a set way to get up on the concrete platform just yet. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that. But once you're up here... You can climb up these stairs on either side of these two cargo containers. At the top of the stairs, or at the midpoint in the stairs, we've got two batteries. Oh, which looks like the batteries are out of juice, so that's no good. Um, inside here, we've got a little control room with an automatic door. There's a seat for Penny and a helm for controlling the um, printing thing for the warheads when that happens. Uh, continuing up the stairs, we can make it to the dock uh, for the moth. I've got turrets up here and wind power up here as well. Right now, the only power generation that this base has is that one wind thing. And uh, then there are a handful of solar panels, uh, two on each side, so four solar panels. They're not perfect. They're not optimal, uh, but they do some stuff. I think uh, let's wait until day for the next part uh, because I because we want to build some things. We want to check out the printer, kind of get that set up, and drop some bombs maybe? Yeah. Let's blow some stuff up. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sweet base. Okay, so next we need to build the bomb. Uh, the bomb is simple. It is a merge block with a warhead on it. And then we just set the warhead to arm. So, uh, that should be all we have to do. Merge block. Warhead. The super slow welder. God, can you believe I built both of these bases with this crappy welder? I did. I did that. That was the thing I did. Okay, so if we go into this now, we should... All we gotta do is hit arm warhead. And then we can control B. Make a blueprint. Uh, we'll call this Warhead Merge Armed, which I have actually already made a blueprint of this. Then we can grind this down, because uh, we don't need it anymore. So let's, let's delete this. Okay, next step is to load that blueprint in our projector and get it set up right there. For that, we'll use this. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my welder is off because I don't want it to actually weld anything yet. Yep, welder is off. So we'll go to our projector, find our blueprint. We called it Warhead Merge Armed. Copy to clipboard. 
There we go. So there it is. But we need to make some minor adjustments. It's not quite in the right spot. Let's find our projector again. And let's see. How do we do this? Let's roll it by 180 degrees. We could use roll, pitch, or yaw. I don't think it matters. We'll set our offset. Horizontal needs to be one lower. And our vertical needs to be back by one. To right there. Alright, so that's the perfect spot. That's all we've got to do for that. I, uh, let's see. So what's next? Uh, next, I have set up some timer blocks already to print and drop the warhead. So let's quickly run up to the control room and we'll take a look at the timer blocks. So TB for timer. I actually only needed two of the three that I built. And if we look at setup actions, so this one turns, make sure the merge block is on, make sure the projector is on, and make sure the welders are on, and then it starts the timer for block two. Block two uh, basically does the opposite. It turns off the welder, turns off the projector, and, uh, and turns the merge block off so that it can drop the bomb into the hole. Then it'll start the timer for the next merge block. I think we can shorten this delay a little bit to 5 seconds. Uh, so we've got 15 seconds between bombs. Alright, perfect. So the next thing we need are our materials. Which I have some. I have some materials in here and I brought some more with me on the moth up there. Um, if we need to make some more bombs. So... We can start this. Uh, I'm trying to decide where the best place to watch from is. We could watch from here. We might want to watch ringside, actually. Let's watch from down below. Uh, I built that entire control room so we could control things from there, and then we're not even going to do it that way. <laughs> that sounds very, very lens cap. Okay, uh, where is going to be our best vantage point? I think our best vantage point is actually going to be wait for the sun. A little bit so that we can actually see inside the hole so once it's up a little bit higher ah no we're good let's drop it let's drop it so we'll do this we'll go TB one and we'll just hit start all right so five seconds five second timer and then it'll start welding all right there's welding Yes. Yes. Drop it. Boom! Oh my goodness! We, okay, we might have been a little close. <laughs> we probably won't be close for the next one, though. I think that's going to be a one-time issue. That's a one-time thing. All right, nice. So now everything's back on. Oh, we skipped something. We forgot something. Why is it not printing? What did we forget? Oh, I know what we forgot. Okay, so we need to go back into the projector. And we missed... Let's turn this block on. Here, here we're going to turn timer block. Let's turn this off. So that it doesn't keep cycling. Everything's off now? Okay. So projector, we're going to turn the projector on. And I forgot to check this. Uh, sh keep projection. Uh, this will let us continually build the thing. Um, every time we turn the projector on, it'll, it'll start it up again. Okay, so, take two. Number block on. Three seconds. Here we go. Yes. Yes. We did lose a couple of, of blocks, so if you're going to keep this blueprint, if you're going to use this blueprint, uh, you may have to replace some cosmetic things around the rim. That's pretty easy. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Look how deep we are already. Okay, let's go, let's go up to the control thing. 
and uh, see what kind of view we get from there. I would, man, I wish we could see in this hole a little better. I should have put some spotlights. Okay, so we can watch the welding from here easier. If we jump up here, I think we can see down in the hole pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Oh, this is so good. Okay, we got another one coming up. Oh my gosh. I just, I could watch this all day. Oh, I could watch it all day. Oh, it's so good. Okay, are we getting close? We got to be close already. There's no way that uh, that we have very much to go. Uh, okay, I think we're out of materials. So let's stop timer block one. Uh, we'll just do toggle on off with that. So that way we don't print anymore. I'll have to run and grab some more materials. Uh, let's see how close we are to cobalts. If I turn, if I turn my uh, antenna on, show the antenna locations. We can see we're 331 meters from here. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just cheat. We're gonna hop in a spectator and fly down. So from here we are at 100 meters. So in eight, uh, in eight bombs we made it 200 meters. So we need another like four bombs. Let's load it up for five just to be safe. And we'll drop some more. Yeah? Yeah, we should always drop some more bombs. Alright, that should give us the materials for five more bombs. Let's turn the timer on. And that should automatically start it. By turning it on. So, yeah, there we go. Welding. Alright, so we can drop five more now. Yes. And loose oh my gosh drilling with bombs is the greatest thing I've ever d done in this entire game let's oh cool okay let's watch from inside the hole maybe one or two of these explosions we can watch it fall we can see it welding up top boom oh, I love it so much all right how close are we to the cobalt uh are we gonna miss the cobalt deposit uh oh Let's see, here comes one more. You know what, that's fine though. We can just use the mining v drone. Cause we're gonna mine with drones anyway. So we can just use the, the drone to get to actually, um, actually to the cobalt. So that's not a huge deal. Here we go, we got one more coming in. Oh yeah, there's some cobalt in the wall. All right, we're starting to see it. Let's give it maybe one more, maybe two more bombs. We can't hurt. We can't, especially if we miss the cobalt. Okay, let's see. Where are we now? Uh, oh yeah. Okay, we're seeing some more. We're seeing some more in the hole. That's fantastic. I think let's stop it here. We'll let it run whatever bomb it's doing now. And if it's going to print one more, uh, actually, I think that might have been it. Yeah, that would have been the last one anyway. Awesome. All right, so we made it down to Cobalt. Um, with explosions? I think that's the way to do it. Uh, that was so much easier <laughs> than building the self-printing uh, refinery base that we have over for Magnesium. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that base. But man, I love this base too. And we put it together so much more quickly. Uh, I think I'm trapped here. Oh no. Anyway, we, uh, I love this base too. We put it together more quickly. So let me know what you guys think we should do for next episode. Um, we've made it to Cobalt here. So we have a couple of options, right? We can build a mining drone now that will autonomously um, will remove this stuff and add a dock here instead. We can set it up to autonomously go down this shaft we drilled, uh, we bombed out, and mine that Cobalt for us. We could do that. 
we could work on the base we have up on top of the mountain. Uh, we definitely need to do that as well. Um, I also think we want to overhaul the moth and make a hydrogen variant of it. Um, I think that's going to be a better idea. A lot of you guys said in my comments in my last video that hydrogen makes a lot of sense for a lifting vehicle, and I agree. So I think uh, maybe instead of using the atmospheric thrusters, we'll build a hydrogen version for carrying cargo around the world. Um, but next time, what, what should we do? What do you guys want to see? Should we work on this some more? Should we build the miner? Should we work on a different project on that base up there? Or should we work on the moth maybe? Or something else. If you have ideas for something else, let me know that too. Until next time though, uh, thanks for watching. It's been a blast. <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> Stay dangerous. I'll see you next time. How am I gonna get down from here? <laughs>